everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Madame Glam nail video. Now this is the Madame Glam Soak Off Gel Polish. I have the Soak Off Base Coat, the Soak Off Top Coat, and three shades here. So I have this shade here, which is a beautiful green color. This is in shade Jenna. I matched my hair, I thought amazing, perfect. And then I needed some colors to kind of match. So I went with this beautiful blue here. It's like a nice duck blue. It's a really, really gorgeous color. This is shade Vitamin C. And then of course we had to get some glitter up in here and look at this beautiful sheeny shine. I feel like I'm gonna have to put it on top of this blue here just for it to really like vibrant out. And this is shade Under Pressure. So I want to try all of these colors. Of course I've got a like, I've got my nails prepped here. They're all nice and bare, ready for a nice new set. So off camera, I'm gonna do the base coat, um, leave top to coat till last. But we're gonna do the base coat and then it get ready for the colors. Cause you guys know what base coat looks like. We just wanna see how these colors perform, how pigmented they are and if they are worth the money. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys these, but these are the Madame Gladden ones and we need to start by getting some base coat on. So let's open this base coat. As you guys know, amazing base coat. I love Madame Glam's base coats and top coats. So that's base coat on our entire hand. And I'm going to come back when I'm all done. All right, so we have our colors here. I think I'm going to do my thumbs separately because I think that that was working out better before. This looks like it's going to be a very... Yeah, so that definitely needs the blue on top. So I'm thinking maybe green, green, blue, blue. So we might start with the green. I'm just going to try and put on... Oh my God, it's so like Kermit the Froggy. Oh my god, I love that. All right, hang on. Let me unscrew that so it's easy to apply as well. So we'll put the glitter on, not at the end, but um, once we've cured one of these. So this is very, very thick. So let's just see. Oh, it's going on. And I feel like it's going on. It literally matches the color of the scarf. That's so funny. I feel like it's going on. I probably just need two coats of this, which I feel like is actually all right. Trying to make it like evenish. I'm gonna do my pinky there. I've got way too much on this brush. This makes me nervous because I'm like I don't want to let it all slide down my finger. As well, put this little one on like this. I just need to get rid of that little imperfection there. This one's looking good. Oh, we gotta seal the ends as well. Make sure we do that. We're just sealing those little ends there. And then we'll put her down. She need to put the blue on. Oh, this is such a pretty blue. This is such a pretty blue. I love this one. All right, I'll get a little bit more. I love when you can just get a little bit from the wand there. This blue is very pigmented. I feel like you would just need one coat of this if you already had some poly gel or something down. It's one that's definitely got the pigment. It's like a one swipe pigment one this is a real pretty blue though oh i picked a good selection of colors to work with i was like i want like a cute little selection this definitely i feel like could be a one coater i mean of course we're gonna do two coats but i feel like for color wise it's a nice bright one that could just be one colored one actually no because we're putting glitter on we don't need to double coat that one we can just one coat that one so that actually works out really good I'm just going to fix up that little bit there. Blue from that. Let's get these out of the way so we don't cure them. Put it under the light there. So the green definitely is going to need some, um, another coat of that. But luckily for the blue, because we are putting the glitter on top of it, it's not going to need another coat. And it's so pigmented, it's not going to matter anyway. So I'm really excited for that. So we need it to cure and then... We can do the next step. All right, so it's finished curing. So let's get this glitter shade and see. Oh my God, it is so pretty. I kind of want to do my other hand the opposite. Oh my God, just so I can see how the glitter goes on the green. That is so stunning. Oh my gosh. It's such a pretty glittery moment. And I feel like you could just do one coat of that too and it's still going to be enough. But maybe we should do two just so we can see the layer upon layers that you can like build that up with that is literally so pretty that shimmer i love that All right another coat of green and then our thumbs we should do green too i think 
a lot on this one. Alright, just gonna make sure we cover that whole nail. This one. Okay, they have a hair in that one. And we're just gonna fix up any edges. We're having issues with. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Place it under, cover it up like that. So after this, I'll just top coat it and then we're good to go. And then I've just got to do that nail there. I think on the other hand, we might do blue with green with the shimmer just to see how the shimmer goes on the blue and the green. Because I feel like on either row, it's going to look really pretty. So let's do that. All right, so now we're going to put more shimmer on. Get like, oh yeah, baby. A lot. So a second coat of shimmer is going to look way better. Judging by what we just put on there, it looks way better. Yes. Okay, I love that. All right, get that shimmery goodness on. I think definitely with that undercoat of color, it's definitely looking much, much nicer, I think. Real easy to apply as well, I'm finding. Just put them on there. Real easy to apply. That's freaking awesome. And then literally, you just top coat, and you've got your pattern there. So that's top coat these. So that is it there. It's so sparkly and pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, now we need to work on this other hand. And I think we're going to do the opposite colors. So let's get started. Let's put a base coat on this one. All right, well, since we're doing these nails the opposite, we need to paint our two middle nails green. And I'm hoping because this obviously isn't an as pigmented shade. So I'm hoping because it's not as pigmented, it's not going to look like really bad underneath the... Um, what do you call it? Underneath the glittery ones? Because the glitter needs a nice solid base, I think. I am left-handed, so this hand's probably going to be shit in the other hand. And the other hand, because I find that when I'm doing these, I get a little bit nervous doing these nail videos just because I don't really share a lot of my nail stuff on um, YouTube but I really wanted to show off the, these Madam Glam products because I just love them so much and they're such pretty unique shades as well and I just want to share them with you guys and think that you guys should see them because then you can understand why I love them so much. All right I just got to clean those up just those edges there. Just gonna clean up those edges. So yeah, I feel like my hands look like shit when I do these videos, just because I'm so nervous of doing them. Um, just simply because um, I'm not used to doing them on camera. So I don't know what angles to do or anything like that. So I promise I'm going to get better with these if you guys still want me to do them. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of them. Don't judge me too much. Normally my nails look fine, but I just get a bit nervous doing them on camera. So I'm just going to let them cure and then we'll put on a, another base. All right, so now I'm going to paint them again as well. And just give them another coat. I'm going to give the green another coat. Oh, am I... No, I'm going to put pure glitter on it because I'm mad. That's not glitter. Where is the glittery shade? Let's get it here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely really nice on the green too. See, looking at the green, I wouldn't think, oh, I'm going to put glitter on that. But that's actually, I don't, I think I like that better than the blue. It's real freaking pretty. Okay. Okay, I see you there. All right, that's real pretty. Okay, and then we need more of that blue as well. Just to do like the finale shades of that one. I feel like painting my hand is easier like this. Especially when I'm doing it with my opposite hand. I just want to show it off to the camera. Oh, and then I'm just going to clean up 
the mess I've literally just made. Okay. And the mess there and the mess there. Sweet. And then they're ready to cure so I can cure them. All right, so that is the nails there. I don't know if I actually, I think the green looks nicer with that shimmer on. I think it's really, really pretty. But also I really love the shimmer of the blue as well. But that is the nails there. They are all nice and done. I think they look really, really pretty. They're really, really cute as well. I like how they're actually really thick. So my nails feel nice and sturdy. I have really brittle nails due to being a dog groomer. So I feel like the polish is really good quality because it just makes your nails real freaking hard and they don't bend at all. Like, see, it's just it's nice. It's nice and sturdy. It looks real nice. And this will last me about two weeks as well. So I'm really, really excited. These are just really gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I just love them. And just that shimmer. Like, just look at that. It's such a beautiful, shimmery, like, goodness. It's just so nice. So, yes, that was my Madame Glam haul. Do you guys want to see another one when I get in some more colors? Like, what are you guys wanting to see? What do you think? But until next time, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!